Good afternoon everyone. I'm Budget with Bliss and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable with my budget and cash stuffing and creating general financial well-being. So um, today's video is just going to be kind of a check-in of last week, um, see kind of what we've got left, where the money went and um, if there's anything left over I'll be putting it into some savings challenges and I also have some happy mail to show you as well, which turned up this week, which I am really excited to get started to use. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed and watched my videos so far. I've only put a couple up, but um, I do appreciate everyone who's commenting and liking and, and subbing to my channel. It's really appreciated. Um, I do this mostly to keep accountable for myself, but obviously the support and, and this community um, really kind of keeps you going. So um, thank you so much. Okay, so um, just gonna look at the budget planner today, just the calendar overview for my first week of January and how I've spent my money. So let's get to it. So Monday was when we cash stuffed. Um, all my bills came out that day. Uh, that is my payday. So £732.53 pence came out of the account. <clears throat> that paid for the majority of the bills. I do have them just come out the same day I get paid. So the money isn't just kind of hanging around in my account, tempting me to be spent. Um, so that was fine. Tuesday was a no spend day. Um, I think I just worked all day Tuesday at home. Um, didn't go out anywhere, so a nice easy day to uh, not be tempted. Um, Wednesday, I did need to put petrol in the car, so we spent £37.25. And, and also my Rockfit subscription came out at £25 from my bank account. Then on Thursday, um, I was out doing some visits for work and... Um, the colleague I was with suggested we went to uh, Costa for lunch, so I didn't really have that kind of budgeted for, but I had my spending money, so we spent £9 in Costa for a coffee and a sandwich. And then I popped into Primark um, to take something back um, for my partner that I got for his birthday. It didn't fit, so I swapped that out for another one for a different size. And then while I was there, I also saw these trousers that he liked. Um, so I picked those up for him as well as a late birthday present. So that was unbudgeted for really, but um, I'll show you kind of where I've taken the money from to cover that. <clears throat> and then on Friday, um, I don't know if, if anyone follows me on Instagram, but I did put a poll up for a couple of binders that I was thinking of getting. So I did purchase one, which was the 11.99. Which I'll show you in a bit, and also um, being quite feeling quite fatigued. So someone suggested um, these Iron Plus tablets um, from Amazon. So I purchased those in a hope that that would help perk me up if I can start taking those regularly. Um, and that was six pounds ninety nine. I did put <clears throat> on Instagram. I just kind of wondered how others would kind of budget or where you would kind of put that kind of spending. Um, so a few people replied, um, and said maybe have a health envelope, um, or medical envelope, uh, just kind of on the side, um, just, you know, 10, 20 pounds for anything like this that might come up in the future. So going forwards, that's probably what I'm going to do. But for this spend, I took it out of my miscellaneous envelope. So just for this month only, that's kind of where that money has come from. I also had an unbudgeted spend on Etsy, um, just in relation to the health envelope. Um, I do have one labelled health, but I use it for my yoga subscription. So I've ordered a yoga uh, labelled envelope for that going forward. And then, um, on Saturday, I then thought, oh, actually, maybe I should get a miscellaneous envelope to match all the others. <laughs> so, 
I doubled up on uh, an order for the 34 Co. I think the Etsy shop was that named that I um I put a couple of orders in for. So yes, there we go. Uh, that is where all my spending went. Um, also, you can see on here I've got some goals for this month. Um, one of them is to have 12 or more no spend days, and that is based on December um, because I had 12 no spend days in December. So my target is to equal and match what I did last month or, you know, increase on it and have less no spend days, but obviously not a great start. Um, it is Sunday at the moment, Sunday the 29th, not going out anywhere, no intentions to spend anything. So I am classifying it as a no spend day, preempting it. So there we go on that one. Um, also, another goal is to start my YouTube videos, which is where we are, it's what we're doing right now, which is good. Um, and also to fully fund the emergency fund, which is obviously a work in progress. Okay, so let's just go into my uh, spending binder and see what we have left. So let's have a look at what's left in here. So spending, as you can see, is empty. Uh, we put in £15 because I had 20 Five went into my savings challenge um and then i went to costa and spent nine pounds and then the rest i've allocated towards um the binder that i've bought and then the etsy um expenditure as well um so i've also kind of factored in uh, those spends because it's obviously a bit more than a week's worth of um spending money for the rest of the month so my spending money is going to be reduced the rest of the month just to kind of balanced it all out um so yeah a bit naughty this week but it will work out thankfully it's you know it's the beginning of the week i've got plenty of time to adjust my budget to make sure that everything's accounted for and i'm not going to leave myself too short i've not got too much planned for the rest of the month either so um yeah it shouldn't be too much of a challenge just kind of keep uh <clears throat> to the budget so petrol has got some change left. Two pounds fifty, sixty, seventy-five. So those will be going into my free little piggies. We'll do that in a little while for the penny savings challenge. And I have decided on names for them all. So thank you everyone for your suggestions. I'll run through a few of them uh, in a little bit when we get to that challenge. And tell you what they're called. Um so Although I did go to Costa, I didn't take the money out of eating out. Um, I just used my spending money. And now I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have just taken nine pounds out of that, but it is what it is. I've, I've already kind of done the calculations for the rest of uh, the month with my spending money. So um, yeah, we will um, just leave that as it is. I've still got 40 in there. Uh, beauty, oh, I've just realized I've not put um, my spending up for my eye eyelashes done this week. I didn't put that in my calendar. A nugget. So um, they were twenty eight pounds. Um, so in here I have left two and ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy two pounds. I did have my nails booked in yesterday, but. I just had one of those days where I didn't feel like really leaving the house. Um, we had quite a nice day yesterday. We watched um, the new Jurassic World uh, movie that was now available on Now TV. Um, so we just cuddled up and, and watched some telly yesterday. And then my mum came around for dinner. Um, so it was just a nice chilled Saturday um, at home with my other half. So. That was nice. Um, so nails have been booked in now for Friday. That should be around about another thirty pounds. So that still leave, will leave me about forty for a second lot of lashes before I next get paid. And also, hopefully, I've put my nails back enough so I won't have to pay, to uh, pay for them until the next get paid as well. If that makes sense, I'm sure it does. <laughs> you know what I mean, anyway. Okay, so yeah, this is the health envelope that I currently use. Um, I put £5 a week in here um, to build up an amount for 
uh, a, ten, a block of 10 classes, um, they're at a discounted rate. Instead of paying eight pound a class, I buy 10 for 65 pounds. So, you know, one pound 50 saving on each class. Um, don't know why I really called it health, um, but I've got another one in the same design now turning up um, from Etsy with yoga. And then this will be moved into that folder when it arrives. And from um, February's payday, I will start a little uh, health um, envelope to be kind of, you know, a sinking fund to be dipped into if any other kind of uh, medicines, things like that are required. Um, I also have a dentist appointment coming up in March as well. So that will tie in to the health envelope. So yeah. Um, and then I see miscellaneous just got three little pounds left in it but that will be rolled over um, for the rest of the month I just put ten pounds in a month and you know last month didn't touch it at all typically when I start cash stuffing <laughs> I've had a really spendy week uh, well, I start my videos for cash stuffing I mean I've had a really spendy week and um, dipped into miscellaneous but that is what it's there for so yeah and then Oh yeah, it's just uh, more receipts. So, not really much to put into any uh, savings challenges today. Just um, this a little, small amount of change for the penny savings challenge. Uh, which I'll just grab out of here. So we've got two pounds seventy-five. This one is such a slow burner, isn't it? I see, you know, people starting this one and then people change their minds on it. Um, and I kind of am at the point now where I see why. Um, it is, just takes such a long time. Because um, I don't, I don't put money in it. Obviously, every day it is a weekly thing. So three hundred and sixty. 66 on this one it's meant to be one a day but I'm doing like one a week so it's going to take me what years really at that rate isn't it what, six seven years <laughs> if I do one a week oh, blimey but um it is what it is I'm a bit of a completist once I start it you know I'll carry on until it's done <laughs> so let's get on to my little pigeons so I got these from Vinted, they are second hand, they've got chips and bits and bobs and they've been pre-loved but now they're mine to give a new life. So um, quite a few different um, name suggestions over on Instagram and also in the comments on my first video. Um, so Yorkshire Budgets, she um, suggested Brenda, Brian and Barbara in keeping with the Budget with Bliss theme. Um, Instagram comments, I had Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> That's a throwback. Um, I don't know if anyone else kind of watched that on Nickelodeon all them years ago. I used to love that show, it was hilarious. Um, I said Queenie for my little pink one. Um, and Bacon, Chop and Gammon was another suggestion, which I really do quite like. I quite like the, you know, the pork references. Um, so those are the kind of ones I've gone for. I've slightly tweaked them. So we're gonna go for copper chops for this one, for my little coppers. Uh, this one is gonna have all the pound coins, two pound coins in, so she's gonna be porky pounds. And the silver one, if you can guess, will be silver sausage. <laughs> so there we go, we've got copper chops, silver sausage, and porky pounds. <laughs> so let's uh, just pop the money in. Oh, no coppers for copper chops today. Our oh, silver sausage is getting those three. So yeah, there we go. That is that. Let me just quickly show you my happy mail. So yeah, I had the um, <clears throat> binder turn up from Amazon. And I also had 
envelopes turn up from 34 co that i um had ordered a little while ago so you can see that so this is from amazon and it is a zip up a6 binder shiny and it's really soft as well like i don't know kind of velvety got touch to it I'm not quite sure how to describe it but obviously not velvet but it's really really smooth and but soft so um it, there was also yellow or blue i really would have liked pink or purple to kind of go with these but it still kind of works um so here we go so i guess it's an alternative to a saffiano um it's got a little handle wrist strap thing there and some pockets here for your cards pen holder um, and some more flaps at the back as well and also we had these lovely envelopes turn up from 34 co so these are a slightly different color and pattern on the vinyl to my uh weekly envelopes i say weekly envelopes fixed spending envelope oh i'm not sure on the terminology here the ones i stuff every week that one um these maybe will be more weekly envelopes because it's got all the money in for the rest of the month um so it's like an opal leopard skin uh kind of pattern on here and it's very shimmery in the light glittery it's pretty so we got week one week two week three for week four which we haven't drawn the money for yet and week five and also a back to bank so um back to bank money is full of uh the money i've kind of jiggled around from spending money um and also the Primark purchase I made, I've taken uh, the £10 that I stuffed last week into my birthdays binder. That has also gone in here for back to bank. Um, and I'll be stuffing £4 less into that folder next week uh, to accommodate for that £14. Um, so yeah, it, I won't go and put it back into the bank. I will just um, allocate it into the other weeks obviously it's not in the bank to be withdrawn now it's moved from other envelopes and sat in a folder ready to be distributed later on that makes sense so yeah that was my lovely happy mail and um 34 co they also um added in this 100 pound placeholder freebie which is just gorgeous and matches all the other ones that i ordered from her so that is just a lovely personal touch there i'm really really pleased with that company and that's where I've ordered my other two envelopes from uh, for my next uh, purchases as well so yeah really recommend that Etsy store. Um, this binder also had um, some different uh, inserts that you you know you kind of get standardized with your you get the clear envelopes don't you and you get your stickers for your envelopes that's standard uh, a little ruler and also these little budget inserts i've not seen these ones before but they were um they look quite handy um my other half he actually does cash stuffing as well at, and he writes his budget out on those little budget sheets that you get um so i think he will get these because um i think it'll just be easier for him to see separate the income and, and the uh, the bills I always generally have to help him out with his budget. And also a little a calendar uh, insert as well. So you get like a bullet uh, note journal type um, <clears throat> section on the back and then the monthly calendar on the front. So you could put your expenditure on here maybe. Um, obviously lovely bulk load of envelopes and some shiny, don't know if that shows up on camera, but they're like glittery. Uh, letter stickers, some nice labels, rainbowy, lots of different um, categories, a uh, lot more than like my original setup. So I would have liked this would be re this was a really good one for a, a very first 
uh, binder set up, I would say. It, relatively, you know, cheap as well, £11.99. That's quite, quite good. Um, and also stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? So I love these nose bends. So they're going to be coming out, I reckon. Um, the paydays are quite cute as well. And the little piggies. Oh, my little piggies. Um, I won't use these ones. I wouldn't have thought. So yeah. Wait, are those different ones in the back? Are they the same? Let me just get these out. I thought it was just all the same stickers. Oh no, they are different. Oh okay, Bill Jew. Bill Jew, a oh, weekly spending. Oh, so you could just put a little tally there. Oh, that might go quite nicely in um, the budget plan on the calendar page, maybe. Not sure, it will take up a whole day, wouldn't it? Hmm, okay. I thought it was just all of these uh, again and again, and I just saw the shape on the back, and I was like, oh, not quite the same. But, um, yeah. What is that? Oh, okay, so that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching, and um, I will see you soon for my next uh, cash stuffing. Um, I just want to give a shout out to um, Yorkshire Budgets and also to Mama Saves both enjoy uh, joining both of their channels at the moment and also thank you for your interaction on on um instagram um they're both lovely lovely uh channels and accounts to follow um if you get to the end of the video thank you very very much i hope you've had a really good week and i will see you uh for week five of january my week two of cash stuffing thank you bye